FIU and the state of Florida wanted to build the wall of wind as a hurricane simulator because we needed a facility to test structures and components up to category five. The emerging scientific consensus is we're going to have stronger storms or at least more numerous storms. And so if you're thinking cat one, cat two, that's a different level of risk than if you're thinking, oh, we're looking at more cat fives and high-end cat fives. And so the, the research here becomes more relevant with climate change, not less relevant. And I don't want to be an alarmist, although we do have to sound the alarm. This is happening, and it's happening now. But if you see what's happening with strengthening hurricanes, and this is something that has us, has me really worried, sooner or later we're going to have to talk honestly about Category 6. change, sea level rise, these are slow onset disasters from our point of view and it's hard for the political system to deal with slow onset mm -hmm. items yeah. because they look at, at events like hurricanes as one-offs. We solved the Maria problem, which of course they didn't. We knew that we needed to be testing components and buildings at category five. And so we can get up to 160 miles per hour and put real stress. And we can also add water on the other side so that you can test for water intrusion into structures. If we build resilient structures, we can sustain Hurricane Five storms, but we need to have enough resources supporting that research and also communication and education to people all around our communities that it's important to invest in resilient structures. The South Florida Building Code is very good. The question is, if we get stronger storms in the future, do we need to revisit the current building code for what's coming in 20 years? That will be, that's a big issue for the engineers and the scientists. In extreme uh, weather events, it's not unique to Florida, even though we've just busted through all sorts of records. In fact, you see wildfires in California, these more intense hurricanes, flooding events that are impacting America's farmers. We can't keep debating whether we do or we do not have a climate crisis. We do, now what are we gonna do about it?